today on one take got a real special guest definitely going crazy definitely got our own podcast going viral you know what i'm saying for the folks that might not know you who we got Imani the right way right way appreciate you for pulling up and rocking definitely after the hurricane you feel me <clears throat> still on point so i like that right you know it's the blood and everything you know that's what's, <laughs> up. that's what's up thank you for coming through so we'll get straight to it i know where you from but tell these folks i'm from atlanta georgia Cobb county if we okay. want to be specific <laughs> got a real atlanta get in the building yeah. for sure for sure so born and raised georgia Keys. Okay, for sure. So we'll get straight to it. Um, I was middle school for you. <laughs> <laughs> middle school was like, <clears throat> like every week there would be a new rumor about me. Like bitches hated me. Bitches did not like me in school. I like I had no friends. That's crazy. I still don't got no friends. But <laughs> I got family. There you go. That's real. That's real. That's real. See, I went to middle school in Chicago, so shit was different. <clears throat> Oh, no, you was fighting every day. Fighting, learned to use a gun at that age. I'm broke. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in Chicago, you start like really fast. I'm broke, great. So, with that being said, after middle school, how was high school for you? I barely did high school. <laughs> I literally went to school for like three months, and I was I was low key bullying this girl because. She was messing with my ex mm, at the time. That's crazy. So, and then that happened. They was going to the principal's office and stuff, and then I got in a fight. So they was like, we're going to expel you. Crazy. So after like three months, I wasn't in high school no more. Mm. But then I got my GED. That's crazy. Yeah, that's good. That's what's up. That's a fun fact. A lot of people probably didn't know that about you. Right. You, 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 <laughs> could, you know, I got a lot of young viewers. I encourage y'all to go to high school. But hell, if you gotta yeah. get a GED, just get some paper behind it. You know what I'm saying? I did the same exact shit on Bro Grave. Like I um I went to high school for five years on bro. Like you did? and I still ended up I getting wish a GED. I did. I'm talking about I failed my senior year, so I got demoted. You know what I'm saying, to do it over. I basically just kept getting kicked out of school, if that makes sense. As senior year, though, you yeah, should have yeah. tightened up during your senior I did. I did. I had enough credits to graduate, but my attendance mm. in Chicago at that age, I was just on the block. You know what I'm saying? Just, so what's the school in Chicago that's, like, the worst school? Like, Did you go to, like, in the middle of Chirac? Really? I went to um, Hyde Park. I went to South Shore. So Hyde Park uh, had a... What, King Louis, G Herbo, King Von, uh, FBG Duck, shit, Chirac Bears, like a lot of Chicago big rappers got them mm-hmm. with them, so that mean that bitch bussin', you feel yeah. me? And I then, heard they was up there shooting it up sometimes. For sure. And then, <laughs> school shooting. And then how my high school is, it's two blocks away from my hood. So my whole hood outside waiting on me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So but basically that shit was like, it all fucked me around. You know what I'm saying? So eventually I ended up getting the GED probably like a couple years after school. Like, wasn't right away. Probably like two years after that. Probably like, I want to say by the time I was 21, I ended up doing that. You know what I'm saying? So that's good that you got that nice long story short. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You ain't no dummy out here. You feel me? Right. I so. passed the first time. I ain't study or nothing. Just passed one, took the test, passed uh, it. Smart. Man, <laughs> so... After high school, what did you end up getting to? So after high school, I did beauty school for a minute, and then yeah. my attendance was bad. And then I was kind of just, I got, I've been on my own since, I'll say 16. Yeah. So I was just moving around with my friends for a minute, and then... Uh, I had my first son, and after that is when I started stripping. Yeah. So, I ain't gonna say I regret it because it did what it, what it was supposed to at the time, but. Yeah. So, break that shit down. How stripping? Tell us about it. <laughs> it's. What was you at? In Atlanta. What club? I would do different clubs, like different lounges. Top and three. Stuff. That you've been in work. Aces, okay, Chic. Shout out to them, though. Uh, 
I'll say members only. That was my first. That's the first club I danced at. Members only. Bro. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's lit. That's lit. That's lit. It's gonna be way birthday. November second, Scorpio. Oh, for sure. They crazy, oh bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Just Capricorn, a January 10th, oh, bro. Oh, I like Capricorn. Oh, for sure, yeah. Yeah, my, yeah, my sister is a Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? We locked so in. So you know. I love you, sister. <laughs> my real, my blood, biological sister. So, Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but she, she's a real person. That's like, how we I are. I have my back, for sure. I've been in prison a couple times. Yeah. First time, she treated me good. She said, if you ever go back, I ain't doing shit. Second time, she treated me great. You like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, first, on um, bro, the first few months, I ain't even called. Because I was just so disappointed. You know what I'm saying? And, okay. then, and then she like, uh, why you didn't call? I'm like, uh, I thought you were mad at me. Um, bro, she, I was, but yeah, it took you six months to call. <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? Six months? Yeah. And you ain't call nobody? I didn't call her. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Because we already had a conversation. I probably didn't call my mom either. I, I would just write my mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like sometimes you know you want to call. Just when you doing time, you just want to get through that shit, and bro. Like the phone and all that shit. Shit make you miss home. The most I ever did was thirty seven days. <laughs> Crazy. What you do? The real story. What the charge with? Fuck it. We going straight to it. <laughs> Aggravated assault and burglary. Crazy. And trespassing. You whooped a nigga. I'm broke. You done broke into the shit, I'm broke. So, can I... Break it down. Man. So, <laughs> look. So, I, at the time, I was stripping. I was on perks. Okay. So, I got my first gun, Ruger. Yeah. And <laughs> I was... <laughs> I just, I, I don't know, I popped the perk and then drove all the way over there. He was probably like 45 minutes from me at the Ooh, time. So I'm like, I drove so over there, yeah. just went in his shit, like, like with my um debit card, I slid it through the door and I just went in and I just was like, hey. Oh, <laughs> like, I, oh bro, what was he doing? He was in there with somebody? <laughs> no, nah, he was just like playing the game, but we just started fighting and I was all... What's up? <laughs> uh, you is a fucking crazy. They say them peaches are bust at your ass. That's mm -hmm. crazy. You know, back home in Chicago, girls ain't really legal, so mm -hmm. I ain't really used to that. You feel me? Yeah. Fives, like, ain't no girl. Girls will shoot at you, but down here, they'll bust at your ass. You know what I'm saying? So that's crazy. That's crazy. Girl. I wouldn't recommend it, though, because y'all ain't fun. You're not fun, ain't. Girl. I was scared. Like, I was scared. I got, <clears throat> I got blessed the situation I have, but yeah. everybody ain't gonna be that lucky. Married to the money. I see you, baby. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. That's good. That's good. So you ain't going through that no more. No. So what you working on now? Oh, no, no. What you doing out in now? So now I'm working on my podcast. Say the name. The Hotline ATL. And basically, I just want people to come on there and tell they people who want to tell their stories and stuff. And I want to get to a point where, you know, the viewers are donating and stuff. And because I'm real, I don't know, just passionate about, you know, people that, who've been through stuff and go through mental instabilities and things like that. Because I've had my own issues, so. Yeah, that's real. That's real. That's real. That's real. So how often do y'all drop? We, <laughs> you, we not on it, right? We we ain't been on it, but we gonna be back on it, dropping every week. Okay. We gonna drop every week for y'all. Oh, bro, what some of the people you had come to? I drop it every day. Bro. Every day. You that's too, that's bro. what you're supposed to do. Yeah. I need to get like you. No, I'm saying we we gotta grow. Like fives, like shit. Each one teach one. You feel me? Yeah. I don't know how your real life be set up, but this all I be doing. So you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like all day. Like there's people coming and going, people coming and going. You know what I'm saying? So what's some of the biggest people you had on that? I ain't have that many big people. Yeah, I've had video girls mm -hmm. so far. No, you good, keep going. You say you have a bit my video girl. Okay. Shout out to Chula. Okay. Yeah, she's she's new. Shout out to she her. Did a bunch of videos, music videos. What about Ijibiwala? You had him yet? 
No, but I'm gonna have you. Oh, bro, you got you me right now. Me on there. Okay, <laughs> you got me right now, bro. I'm saying you got me right now. We right here on one take. You feel me? Appreciate you for coming through to this motherfucker. What you know? made you start your podcast? So it was crazy, yo, bro. And I just did it on another podcast on two more. Shout out to both of them, Cold Cut, and shout out to um, what's the word podcast, DJ Decepticon. But just to sum it up real fast, basically it was something that I didn't know I would ever do. It was more so on some, I always knew I probably could do it, but I just never thought. I always did music and wrote books. That's where my following comes from. You feel me? We got a big independent movement in Chicago, NGB. We kind of came out like around the same time as Chief Keefe and them, but they went kind of more way mainstream, and we kind of stayed more local. But hell, that was 12 years ago, shit. If you stay local that long, you don't fight and not back home, so... That's what ended up happening. We ended up just staying really big locally and worldwide too now. Cause hell, that's anytime I moved around, people know me from that shit. No matter where I'm at, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like really hip for sure. So I'm like, okay, that's how I knew to move to Atlanta. Long story short, like damn, cause you know my only love around the best piece of him, folks killed himself. He was like one of the main rappers on the label. And when he killed himself and I was coming down, his motherfucker walking up on me like, damn, I'm sorry about Lil Ron. I'm pumping gas. Like, mm-hmm. damn. Motherfucker walking up on you. NGB while I broke, I take a picture with you, bro, and phone him. Oh, shit. Okay. But basically, with the podcast, I was already doing the music and the books. But I felt like I knew I needed to do something else because with the music, I just play the background. Like, I run the label. And then with the books, you never, you never see the author. Just know his work. So I'm like, I need something more hands-on. So then eventually, it came probably like twice. My old boy, AOK, he shout out folks. He kept saying, like, you should probably do some questions. But really, my brother, Chirac Ben, shout out to him. He told me, like, man, bro, I went to Miami. And I was out there. He was like, bro, you need to walk up on motherfuckers and do questions. This was just in April of this year. So then I'm like, no. Nah. I had a few drinks. People kept walking up. Bam, I did like three of them. Put them all on my page, they go viral. All the comedians that follow me, big names, they fucking with it. So I'm like, okay, now I got some. So now, bam, I get back to Atlanta. I just start calling motherfuckers up. Like, man, pull up on me. Let's do, like, a question, public interview. I get flooded. So then my other buddy, shout out Jay May, he get that, uh, bro, you got everybody pulling up on you to do the questions? You need to start recording later as, bro. I said, what you mean? I ain't got no cameras or shit. Uh, a ring for bring an iPhone and a ring light, and then shit. Now we send them. That's what we on now. Like. So that <laughs> happened. That started in May, June, July, August, September. I'm four months in. Got one of the biggest shows on the internet right now. I don't know. You feel me? And I really only fuck with the ladies. You feel me? As you see, I be seeing that. You know what I'm saying? I know you did your homework on me. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So like, yeah, I really like to. Shit. Females just easy to work with. Dudes, if, if they ain't my guy, it's kind of hard to work with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then it's just better. I just work with the females. You don't like being around dudes? Like I do. Like, my niggas, yeah. Like, everybody that you really see me whooping with, they usually either my niggas or they're a good friend of a referral. Like, other than that, females. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why I say, like, I just have found my niche with that shit, like, yeah, it only been four months now. Shit, I dropped every day. Basically from June 2nd to today, whatever today is, September or something, I posted something new every day, new content coming up. Are you teaching me something? Yeah, and we teaching the world too. Shit, yeah. niggas had to put me on game. So it's like, uh, yeah, I got to put you on game. Uh, you got to bring me through. I'm going to come fuck with your shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I thought you was bringing the sign. I know I forgot yeah. it. How could I forget it? Oh, bro. So, you said you modeled before, too. I've been a little modeling. Okay, bet. So, <laughs> you down to do some modeling still? Yeah. You down to do some skits? Yeah. Okay, bet. So, y'all hit up. You know what I'm saying? You don't rap or nothing, right? No. Okay, so y'all hit <laughs> up. She doing podcasts. She doing down to do some skits. She down to act. She down to model. Y'all hit up. Down to earth. Very easy to work with. You know what I'm saying? Very professional. Hell, yeah, she was a few minutes late, but yeah, it was a hurricane <laughs> yesterday. I'm just right. saying, shit, it was a hurricane yesterday. So at that point, here, yeah, 
you see, I already hit you like, uh, should we do tomorrow? You feel yeah. me? But you came today that showed me that you hungry, and I fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate you for giving me a chance. You know what I'm saying? To take a chance with me while my shit still up and up and up. And you some I heard a streamer say is, with whatever you got, just go ahead and start and let people see the growth. And they gonna fuck with you more. There you go. Mm -hmm. So that's real. So apply that to your situation yeah, too. You gonna see the growth. There you go. So I feel like we just covered a lot in a small amount of time. We told folks about your upbringing. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? How it was coming up for you in the A. What you did after high school. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How you transitioned all of that into a podcast. So I'm proud of that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I can't even. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be real if I ain't say that. Because you turned a negative to a positive one, bro. You feel me? So, you know, you did your big one. I'm proud of that. So with that being said, it might be some, you welcome. It might be some females out there that like what you got going on or they could feel influenced by you. I want you to give them a positive message. Yes, if you would like to tell your stories, I have a no judgment zone and you can tell me whatever I've been through it. I know what you're going through. Stay motivated, stay pushing yourself, stay looking good, feeling good, and everything just comes together. There you go. You know what I'm saying? So, man, go to tell these folks on Instagram and TikTok, Instagram, all social medias. My podcast is at The Hotline ATL. My Instagram, personal Instagram, is at Imani Renee, I-M-A-N-I-R-E-N-N-E. -N -N -E. There you go. You know what I'm saying? So, Thank you for coming through. I wish nothing but success to you on your podcast. You Thank feel you, me? you too. Keep going crazy. You was doing something if I, I seen something. So, you know what I'm saying? And I'm good at picking winners. You <laughs> feel me? So, That's right. this definitely, I'm sharing my platform with you. This shit finna shine a light on you. Shit, do right. Make me proud. I'm and then make, proud. make yourself proud. <laughs> Don't forget about me when you're on the red carpet. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You said you ain't never went viral, really? Shit. Oh, you did, right? I ain't never went viral, really. We about to right now. Mm -hmm. You see, everything I do go viral. So, yeah. bro, so we finna go crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, with that being said, thank you for coming through. And, man, that's really it for now. Thank you. There you go. Bro.